Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Haiga and today I am finally gonna make this video. So today, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna talk about the two round strategy for King Detritus. Why King Detritus? King Detritus is by far the best boss to farm 100% during double reagents. You already, without double reagents, get 10 alchemical extract per run, and then you have a chance of getting an additional salt. You also have a chance of getting an additional crystal, and you have a chance of getting your Vanguard hat as a drop. So you have all these things. So with double reagents, you, you just get like, I think you get like 17 or 15, 15 or 17 uh, extract per run. Um, um, because the quest gives like three so you just subtract that i'm pretty sure it's like 17 per run ish um or around there and then you have a chance of getting two salts or two crystals or sometimes both and then the hats so it's, it's just the best thing to run um you can just farm extracts farm extracts and then transmute or if you just need salts um you can do vigor but i do not recommend doing that at all during double reagents during double reagents 100 percent spend all of your time on king detritus um i will probably make a separate video on why but Today, we're just going to focus on two round strat, what we're packing, how to do it and stuff like that. Um, what do you need? What do you want? You can have an ice hitter or a hitter that's not resisted by King Detritus. For those of you who don't know, he's a sun boss. He resists 80% to fire, 80% to myth. He does not resist storm. He does not resist ice. Ice and storm both boost on him. So either of those schools hitting would be ideal. Now, Obviously, a storm is going to be more common. There's storm wizards everywhere. So find a friend of yours that has somewhat decent stats. We have Miles here, has really good stats, 173 damage, max critical. Detritus does block a lot, but with the new changes and the nerfs to all of the boss's HP, he has like 39k now. He used to have like 46. He got nerfed. He's even weaker. So this two-round strategy is going to be even easier to do than before. I am going to be using Mass Faint. You do not have to use the Mass Faint Helm. It is very common at the high level at 130. But if you don't have it, you can do this with Faints. The Mass Faint is mainly good just for the mobs. And then I'm going to be using Regular Sharpen and an Elemental Blade. I have these feints in, but these are only if on the boss battle, they like Virulent Plague, Mass Tower Shield, anything like that. Anything that causes Miles to not kill on round two. Next, we have Bella, who's going to be running with us. She's using the Dragoon Boots, so she's going to be using the Dragoon Buffs. So she'll be using a Feint with the um, Boot Potent Trap. So that's going to be hers. She's going to have Boot Potent, and then she's also going to have the Boot Sharp and Elemental Blade. Our friend Ethan here, he's going to use regular Enchanted Feint, so just a regular Potent Trap. And then he can use his Pets Elemental Blade or just a regular non-sharpened Elemental Blade. The 35% will work fine. If you're the Storm, you're running Tempest. Stormlord, Glowbugs, Epic, 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 Frenzy. Those are the seven cards that you need. Round one, you Frenzy. Round two, you Stormlord. If for some reason you don't Power Pip or something, then you Tempest. Or if you draw Shad, then you can Glowbugs. So those are your three cards. The reason Frenzy is good as opposed to a Blade is because if you don't kill, like I said, if they mass Tower Shield, Virulent Plague, anything like that, you still have the Frenzy buff for the next few rounds and you can kill again. So typically, the order for the mobs doesn't matter too much. Shut up. Um, as long as the person with mass faint goes first. That's or before the hitter. That's it. As long as the person with mass faint goes before the hitter, everything will be easy. I have will cast hex on this pet. I'm not gonna use it though. As you see, I have all seven of my cards. It's a beauty. We're just gonna go ahead and mass faint. They can blade him. It's gonna be easy peasy. Also, if you're new to Detritus, if you're a brand new level 130 and you're not aware, the Shadow and the Death um, minions can both Virulent Plague. Yeah, yeah, don't care. Okay, so we got one Alchemical Extract from that battle, so you can get two during Double Reagents. We're going to make sure everyone is ready. And she's already down here, so we're going to hop in battle. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice. We all get in. And again, this is the beauty of having seven cards. You don't have to dig for nothing. Everything's right here. You just mass faint, and then you're good to go. These guys are probably going to Verilin play one of us, not going to lie.
All right, easy money. Um, fun fact: if you hate the Mycin dialogue, what you can do is talk to Belgrim and wait for the little quest thing to pop up, letting your letting you know that your friends talk to Mycin, and then you can just walk in. And now you avoided his dialogue. You don't have to talk to him. For those of you who know, you know. If you don't know, enjoy talking to Mycin. All right, seems like everyone is ready. And let's go. Let's see how much how much health my man has. Did we make it? We did. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, for those of you who don't know the cheats of King Detritus, you can only faint when there are no minions. So, everyone, round one, just faints. Because he summons the minion round one, but they're not in battle, so you're still allowed to faint. He has 39k health, which is pretty trash, not gonna lie. Double gardening isn't that good anymore. I don't know who told you that. But you're definitely bugging. <laughs> Double gardening is fantastic still. Alright, so we got a plus 75. Plus 80. Another plus 80. And so now you see what I'm talking about where I said if we go second, it makes it a bit more difficult. Um, just because the minions get to use spells before us. And two death, bro, there's no way we don't get virulent plagued here. There's 0% chance we don't get virulent plagued. But that's fine. So we're going to go ahead, throw the buffs on him. He's going to Stormlord. And actually with his debuff, we might, like with the nerf to his health, we might just still be able to kill, to be honest. There's no way we don't get virulent plagued here, though. Most people have hella snacks. If you have hella snacks, then you don't make pets. And then if you don't make pets, then obviously double gardening won't be useful for you. That doesn't mean it's trash for everybody. Wow, neither of them plagued? Yeah, that's pretty lucky, not gonna lie. <laughs> Typically, if there's at least one death or an ice, they'll mass tower or virulent plague first round. But we got pretty lucky here. So, we'll take it, I guess. This is a pretty smooth run, not gonna lie. Nice. What a time waster. We love to see it. <laughs> Your pet flexing because we didn't get plagued. All right. Beautiful. Bro, this is going to do way more than we need to, to be honest, now that he got nerfed. We used to do this with his 46K, and we did, like, without a crate, you do, like, 50K or something, so... Easy money. Easy money. And so now if you're in a run and you do get virulent plagued or you do get mass towered and for some reason you don't kill, that's why I packed the extra buffs just in case. So we did 64k, we're chilling. Um after if you don't kill the boss, but you kill all the minions. You have one round you have two rounds before he summons them. So you don't need to hit right away. You can buff for one round and then hit the round after that. If that makes sense. If you don't kill. So I'll say, say it again just to make sure that you guys get it, just in case. You get Verlin played, you get mass towered, you don't kill the boss, but you kill all the minions. You have two rounds. You can buff one more round, throw feints on them because the minions are gone again. Right or throw blades and then the second round after that you can hit before he summons the minions again so it shouldn't be too hard um hopefully that was easy um to know and like hopefully all my explaining was okay it wasn't too much you guys get what i'm saying it's a pretty simple thing but i want to put this out there in case double reagents is coming soon um everyone can reference this video in what the two round strat is and how easily it can be done and that way your farming is very fast and you can get all your reagents and get your dragoon slash vanguard gear in peace um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Until then, it's been your boy, Haggot.